What's up everybody, JC here back with another video. Today we're gonna get away from the unboxings and get into a um, on foot review and review of the whole shoe really of this Jordan 6 Golden Harvest or Wheat, whatever you wanna call it. Um, as you guys do know, this is one of my Black Friday pickups uh, that I received in the mail. This week, um, did the unboxing along with uh, the Triple Black EQT. So if you haven't checked that out, go check that out. Um, but for me, this is for sure probably my top Jordan pickup of the year. I love this shoe. Um, I love that the whole upper is all suede. I love the color. Um, it's just a big, big, to me, a fall, winter kind of shoe. Um, I can't wait to bust it out. So if you guys do or do not know, this shoe is kind of weird. And I told you guys in the unboxing video, there's not too much information on it. Um, most sites said it was set for a November 21st release. Um, but I actually had to get my pair overseas. Um, I know they've been releasing overseas for about a month now, um, since the start of November. And I was just kind of waiting, being patient so I, so I could get the opportunity to get it for under retail. Cause you know that we never pay over retail. Well, we do pay over retail for some shoes, but you know, if we can, if we can control it, we're not going to pay over retail for shoes and especially Jordans and like the new ultra boost, um, we're able to get those for under retail almost every single time. Was able to get these for $130 when they retail for $190. Um, and if you go by the date I bought it, it was the day after release day. Because um, technically release day was the 21st. Um, but yeah, like I said, a weird shoe because there's not too much information on it. I was just right now searching through the internet trying to find it. Um, and even on StockX and Go, it's going for under retail. But I can't find it sold out anywhere. Um, or I can't even find it being sold anywhere um, because yeah, to me it just feels like it wasn't released. It's a very, very under look shoe. Um, maybe some stores have it in store, Foot Locker, Foot Action, Champs, Finish Line, all that. But I can't find it online really hardly anywhere in the United States. Um, I know the one sneaker shop that I was just looking and I went through three pages of Google Shopping the one page I, I saw in adult men's sizes was Villa, um, RU Villa, Ru Villa, however you, how you pronounce that. Um, and other than that, I didn't see them on sneakers because I checked that almost every day. Um, I didn't see it on Finish Line. I didn't see it on Foot Locker website. I didn't see it on any of those websites. Um, so maybe I'm just going crazy and I'm looking at the wrong things. But a very, very, to me, under the, under the table kind of release. And I feel like there's not a lot of people out there that know about this. Um, because to me, this right here is one of the best Jordans for me that I've ever gotten. Um, this suede is crazy. The color is crazy. And to be able to get it for under retail, I'm super, super excited to bust these out. Um, and then there's also dropping another pair, which is going to be less for me, less, um, less likely for me to wear out. And it's less doable to wear out. But that green Gatorade pair, I know they're dropping the white with the orange hint Gatorade pair, but that green Gatorade pair coming out at the end of December, to me, that shoe is fire. It's an all green suede upper um, and with the orange hints where you see like gold right here, it'd be orange. Um, and I know I've said this before, between this Jordan 6 and that Jordan 6 coming out the day before New Year's Eve, I believe, those are my favorite Jordans of the year. Over the uh, navy blue 11s, over the all gym red 11s, um, I don't even know what else came out this year, but over whatever else came out this year, this pair and that green pair are my two favorite pairs. And I'm not even a big fan of sixes like that, but I just think that this is, it looks like a premium shoe. It looks like a shoe that they would, that Jordan brand would charge 400 bucks. Um, if Jordan brand came out and charged 400 bucks for this thing, I wouldn't be surprised because Jordan brand charges for those premium shoes, 400 bucks for someone. And I'm like, why? I wouldn't buy it if it was 400 bucks, but I wouldn't be surprised um, just because one, the way Jordan Brand's been handling things lately, and two, it's just to me a very, very dope shoe. The suede, the color, everything to me is just dope. And it's going under the table. Not a lot of people know about it. I feel like there wasn't even like a crazy release about it or like a mass release. Like it was so under the table that I don't even know what's going on with this shoe. And I'm trying to figure out what's going on with the shoe, but I don't know. And I know there's on, they've been on some pages for about a month some YouTube channels for about a month who have had these in hand. Um, but like I said, they've been releasing overseas for about a month. Um, and I was waiting for that in-state release. I was waiting for that United States release. 
never came up on sneakers. Um, and I was waiting to get it for under retail in the States. I couldn't find anything on it. Um, on Goat and StockX, they're going for under retail. Um, but crickets all in, in the foot sites and everything like that. So just kind of weird to me. Um, but I've said it a hundred times, a super, super dope shoe. Going to get to an, onto an on foot um, a little later in the video. Um, but I just wanted to get that out of the way um, because this is a, for me, I think this is a must cop, especially if you can get it for under retail like I did. 60 bucks under retail. Um, this is a must cop. It's a, it's a, it's winter time. Um, it's, well, fall's winding now. It's about to be winter time. The next two, three months is going to be kind of chilly weather, jeans. I think this is a good look, um, and we'll see a little later in the on foot, but I think this is just a good look for a shoe, um, and the more I look at it, the more I like it, and it grows on you. Right now, you may see it, and, you, and you're and you not really feeling it. You're not feeling the suede, maybe you're not feeling the color, maybe, but get this, maybe go to a store where they have them, see them in hand, and it will grow on you. My roommates, when I first got them, they're like, oh, what are those, and every day they come in, you want to know what the first slot they go to? It's this slot right here, and they say, huh. These are kind of growing on me, and I'm like, I know, because they're fire. These are fire. All right? So I've been ranting for a little while now. Um, if you guys have any questions about these, let me know. I can probably um, find a site that's having a Christmas holiday sale, and you'll be able to get these for under retail. Just ask me in the comments down below. I might even post a link if I find it and pin that link, um, because I hope that you guys feel the same way that I do about these shoes and maybe I'm just crazy um, I don't know that's the thing about shoes that's why I like about shoes is you're all entitled to your own opinion um, and we all have our own style and this right here is my style I like this um, but yeah I will try to find these where I can get them for a pretty good price post them in the uh, description down below also on go on StockX on all the reseller sites these are going for under retail and I don't know why because I can't find them any I can't find them anywhere meaning they're either sold out or they haven't released so why I don't know why they're going for under retail um, but they are um, so enough of that if you guys have any questions let me know down below um, probably won't come back to this video to talk probably gonna end with the on foot um, so stick around for that I'm gonna try a couple of different looks on with these um, see what works best but yeah that's about it for this video as far as me ranting and talking. Uh, I appreciate you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed up to this point and let's get to the on foot. I'm actually coming back to rant about these some more because after trying these on foot, I think these are that much more fire. And I've said it a hundred times in this video, but these are fire. And I've been kind of the Jordan brand hype has been dying for me. When I first got into the game was like the tail end of the Jordan brand kind of hype. Um, so when I got into the game, I tried Jordans. I, I, I liked them. I went for a lot of old school stuff that had already released. Uh, but lately, they have not been impressing. The stuff, and maybe it's just me, maybe I'm weird, but the stuff that I like, the stuff that I like in Jordan Brand is when they keep it simple, I can get it for under retail, I don't have to stress about it, and I heard rumors that they're going to start limiting, and either way, I like it, because I like the chase, I like the fact that they're not just going to be sitting everywhere, but I like that I can get it for under retail also. I like that I don't have to stress about it. I like that it's simple. And so either way, I'm happy. But for me, it's it's keeping it simple. It's, you know, it's the stuff that not everyone is going after. And I don't know how many people wear these or still wear these or have these, but these are one of my favorite Jordans. Some of the most basic Jordans, some of the most cheap, the, these are going for like a hundred bucks. Um, if not cheaper, where you can get them in store now. Um, these I got for $130, literally pre-release or pre-order. I don't even know when these, like what's the deal with these, but you guys get what I'm saying? Like 
the cheapest, the most basic releases in Jordan brand. The last 18 months is what I like the most. And I don't know, maybe I just have a different style than you. Maybe you guys agree with me. Um, I don't know, but all I know is I love this shoe and every time I pull it out, I don't know, I just want to rub the suede and everything, but this to me is fire. I hope Jordan Brand keeps pulling out more stuff like this um, because for me, uh, it's just, I don't know what it is, but maybe not everyone sees what I see. Maybe it's just that the fact that there is so many Jordans coming out because um, I'm just not digging all like the the hype stuff. And even the hype stuff that they have is going, is sitting on shelves, going on sale two, three weeks later. Um, but I hope they keep putting out stuff like this um, where I can not have to worry about it. I can get it for under retail two weeks later um, and I can be feeling good in my fresh pair of J's. Um, Cause these, my guys, I'm, I'm telling you, man, I love them. I love them, I love them, I love them. Call me crazy, but I love them. Um, and that green pair, I hope it's the same thing with these. It kind of goes under the radar. Not anyone knows about them because um, I'm going to get those for under retail also. And anytime they come out with another something like this, something like those, I'm completely fine with it. Send it on shelves because two weeks later I'm going to get them for under retail. No problem. And I'm just going to keep it going. Um, but like I said, Jordan has not been, I mean, since I've been in the game, it's kind of been dying. But Jordan has not been something I've been seeking out. I need to wear. I want to wear. I've been I've been buying the the old school stuff um, because lately they have not been really doing much to kind of keep my attention. And I'll buy some of the new stuff. Like I had the Bread Thirteens bottom, but I was able to forget to get them for such a good price that you know I let them go for you know sixty dollar profit because that's just the way it goes right now. And um, so yeah, I've been ranting a lot, uh, but I just wanted you guys to know that um, I love these shoes, first of all. And second of all, I know we're winding down the end of the year, um, so I just want to make sure you guys are taking advantage um, because supposedly um, JB is supposed to be kind of back to the way they used to be, more limited releases um, and all that. And we've been spoiled the last two years because we've had so many GRs and so many shoes of not selling out. The Space Jams last year barely sold out. Uh, the Midnight 11s this lot two weeks ago barely sold out. When three years ago, they would have been gone. Um, kind of like the Yeezys are now. Um, so I think we've been like, a lot of people are complaining about the Jordan, kind of the amount of Jordans and the amount of GRs we're having. But you're not really looking at the bright side that you can go get a pair that you like for under retail, you don't have to pay $200, which is crazy. Um, you don't have to pay the crazy $200 for a pair of shoes, and you don't have to worry about getting up and going to the store to see if you won the raffle. You don't gotta worry about getting up and going online. You can sit at your home, wait two weeks, and get it for $50 off, um, and it's shoes you like. Because I know if these resell, this is a shoe, I'm gonna bust them out again. This is a shoe I'm willing to pay resale for. I'm willing to pay mid 200s for this shoe because I think it's that fire. Um, but I was able to get it for 130 bucks just because the way JB's doing it right now. And maybe they're doing it good and they're selling more pairs. Even though some are sitting, they're selling more pairs because it's more available. Uh, maybe they're not doing good. Maybe that's why there's rumors that they're going to go back to the way it used to be and have more limited releases. But all I know is for the time being, take advantage. Stay alert for all the pairs that are going on sale and take advantage while you can because it is a blessing in disguise. And I know if you guys are talking, I know a lot of you guys are talking crap about it, saying Jordan brand is dead, it's dying for this, no one wants Jordans anymore. But take advantage because the ability to get shoes that you want for under retail um, is far, far, by and far overlooked. Um, and I know a lot of you guys are like, Phew, I don't want those shoes, they're sitting on shelves. If a shoe is fire, if you like a shoe, then you like a shoe. The the alternate Motorsport 4s, the black pair, to me, that shoe's fire. I can get that shoe for probably 112 bucks. But to me, I love that shoe. That's a shoe I'm trying to add to my collection as soon as I can find it in my size for the right price. Um, so, hope you guys helped. I know I've been ranting for a very long time. Hope this, got, this helped you guys. Um, if you guys did listen to this all the way through, um, I hope it helped. 
Let me know if you guys have any questions. Um, let me know if you guys feel the same way. How do you guys feel about these Jordan 6s? Because you guys know how I feel. I think they're fire. I want to know how you guys feel um, about these Jordan 6s. Maybe I'm crazy. I don't know. But all I know is I really, really like these shoes. I have enjoyed what Jordan Brand has done the past 14 months um, with these super, super big releases where I don't have to stress about if I'm going to get them or not. And I can sit in my home two, three weeks later, get them for 40% off. I don't know about you guys, but I enjoy that. And if they go back to the way they were, I'll enjoy it too because I enjoy the hunt. I enjoy the having the rarity of shoes and stuff like that. So either way, I'm a happy customer um, with Nike, Adidas, or Jordan brand. Um, so like I said, let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. Um, and let me know if you guys have any questions. But yeah, I appreciate you guys for watching this video and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thank you guys.